Hi, in this video we're going to talk about 2D arrays. So what if we wanted to make an array where the type of the element was an array? Then we'd have an array of arrays. That type declaration would look like this, int, and then bracket, bracket, array. Introducing 2D arrays. A 2D array is an array of arrays used to represent tables, grids, and matrices. So this is called a 2D array and is very useful to represent a table, grid, or matrix. 2D stands for two-dimensional, as opposed to when we just say array, that's a one-dimensional array. Visually, you could think of a 2D array like this. So let's show how you declare a 2D array. So let's say we want to make a three by four grid of ints. We say int and then open square bracket, close square bracket, open square bracket, close square bracket, grid equals new int of three by four. Or if we want to make a three by three grid of cares, uh, we say care array, array grid equals new int and then open square bracket, three, close square bracket, open square bracket, three, close square bracket. Or if we want to make a 10 by 3 grid of strings, then we use the syntax below. So the general form for creating a 2D array is that you have a type and then two sets of open close square brackets, the name of your array, then new and then type um, and then rows and then the number of columns. So if you want to uh, set up a 2D array with an initializer list, you can do it like so. You have uh, the type, and then you say equals, and then you start with an open curly brace, and then within those, it's like you have simple 1D uh, array initializer lists. And so you basically have a list of uh, initializer lists for arrays. So here, we're creating a grid uh, with three rows and the numbers one through 12. So when you make a new 2D array, what does it look like? So uh, if we make a new grid and we say it's three by four, this is what it looks like. Uh, you can see now I've shown the indices in blue where the rows go zero, one, two, and the columns go zero, one, two, three. So let's say we have some code to initialize the values. If we want to get a row and we say grid of one, well, what grid of one is, is it's really that whole row. So the type of grid of one is itself an integer array. And if we want to get a specific element, well, first let's say we got uh, that row and that row is grid of one. And then we want to get the element from that row. Well, that's row of two. The element would get value 11. But we can do that all in one step and say grid one, two. So more generally to get an element from a grid, we write in alum equals grid of row and then column. If you'd like to set an element, we use a similar format, but generalize for a two dimensional array, we say grid of row column equals element. So if we say grid of two, three uh, was equal to 88, then in that element, we change the value 88. So let's go explore using grids, uh, using 2D arrays in our editor. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a three by three uh, um, grid, which simulates a uh, tic-tac-toe board. So we'll say care um, bracket bracket board equals new care, and it goes three, three. So then we'll say four int i equals zero, i is less than three, i plus plus, and then four int j equals zero, j is less than three, j plus plus, board of i j equals uh, dash. So this will just set the grid to be um, empty. So this is a really common pattern, sort of a double for loop or a nested for loop where we're going through both the rows and the columns. Now let's set some values. So we'll say board of zero, zero is equal to the character X and board of one, zero is equal to the character O. So now let's go and print out our board. So we'll say four int I equals zero, I is less than three, I plus plus, 
then four and j equals zero, j is less than three, j plus plus. Then we'll say system dot out dot print, not print line, uh, board of i j. That's because we don't want a new line. And then since we're done with that row, at the end of that loop, uh, then we'll just have a print line. So if we run this, you can see that we print out a simple grid. Okay, so in this program, let's demonstrate how you can set up a, a 2D array with an initializer list. So we'll say, we're gonna make a grid, and that grid will have the numbers one, through four in the first row, and then five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, 10, 11, 12. Then we'll go and uh, write some loops to print out that grid. So we'll say four and i equals zero, i is less than grid.length, i plus plus. Then we'll say four and j equals zero, j is less than grid of zero.length j plus plus, and then within this loop, we'll print out system.out.print, I will print grid of i j, and then we'll also print the uh, tab character to give us some space. And after that loop, we'll do a full print line. So there's a couple new things here that I wanna show. One is the bounds for our for loop. So we're going from i equals zero to grid.length. So what's really going on here is this outer loop is looping through the rows. It's looping through the rows. And basically there are grid.length number of rows. There's three rows. And then if we get grid of zero, what that is is that's an individual row. And if we get the length of that inner array, that's actually the number of columns. So grid.length is a way to get the rows and grid of zero.length is a way to get the number of columns. Oops, we have a small typo. Great, so there you go. Okay, in this program, we'll create a matrix, set its initial values, and then also write a method to help print it out. So we'll say int array, uh, we have a 2D array called matrix, and it's a new int, three rows, six columns, and then we'll call our print matrix um, helper function. So we'll say print matrix of matrix. So let's go down and write that helper method. So we'll say private void print matrix. And the type of that, it's a 2D array of ints called matrix. And what we'll do is a lot like before. We'll say for int i is zero, i is less than matrix dot length, i plus plus. So looping over every row, and we'll say for in j equals zero, j is less than matrix of zero dot length, j plus plus. Now what we'll do is we'll print out, no, just print, matrix of i, j, and then at the end of that row, print out a new line. And so one other note here, when we say matrix of zero, that really could be um, any value, but matrix of zero is a little more reliable. You don't know how many uh, rows there will be. So this is a good convention to do it. So if we run this, we get a uh, empty three by six grid. And now what we'll do is we'll go and we'll set um, every position in the grid to the sum of the row and column positions. So we'll say for int i equals zero, i is less than matrix dot length i plus plus for int j equals zero, j is less than matrix of zero dot length j plus plus. Uh, and then we'll say matrix of i j equals i plus j. Then we'll give a new empty line and then we'll print out the matrix again. So now you can see that every position in the matrix is getting the sum of the row and column index. So there you go, that's an example of basically using 2D arrays, 
creating 2D arrays, getting and setting values of 2D arrays, as well as using 2D arrays as parameters.